Okay, welcome back to Villa Cotter. Thank you so much for the likes and support and also for subscribing to this channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to draft kimono shirt dress. So let's get to it. On my fabric, I have here my starting line. From here to here, shoulder to under bust line. From this line to this line is my half length line, which is my waist line. From here to here is my hip line. I folded this fabric into two. This is the open end. This is for the front panel. And this is for the back panel. So on this end, I mark out two inches, which is going to be for the bottom stand. So know the amount of fabric you will be folding is you measure from the from the center of your neck to the desired length of the sleeve. So from here, the sleeve length I'm working with is 15 inches. So from this line up here, I just measured here 15 inches. So this is 15 inches. Hope you can see it clearly. This 15 inches. Okay. So I'm going to be marking out the neck line measurement. So the neck width I'm working with, I'm going to be marking three inches. I'll be taking three inches for the neck width. Two inches here. Then the neck depth, I will mark also three inches for the neck depth. Then for the back, I will make the back higher than the front. So I'll be marking one inch for the back depth. So I'll connect them like so. Connect here also. I'm taking the sleeve length. So from this end, this is my sleeve length of 15 inches. Then on this end, I'll just come down here by one and a half inch. Then I'll draw a slant line from this neckline width. I'll connect it all the way to the shoulder slope. Hope you can see it clearly. So after doing that, I would now measure the arm hole. The arm hole I'm working with is 9 inches. So from this shoulder slope, I will measure down 9 inches. So this is 9 inches. The next measurement I will be taking is the bust circumference. On this arm hole line, I'm going to be placing quarter of the quarter of the round bust measurement. The round bust I'm working with is 43. 43 divided by 4 is 10 and 3 quarter inch. 10 and 3 quarter inch. But because it's a kimono, it's going to be free. So I'm just going to be adding 1 inch to it. So making it 11 and 3 quarter inch. So this is it here. Yeah? So the next measurement I'm going to be marking here will be the round under bust measurement. The round under bust measurement I'm working with is 38 inches. 38 inches divided by 4 is 9.5 plus 1 inch for ease, making it 10.5. So this is the 10.5 here. Then I'll go over to the half length. On the half length line, I'm placing the waist measurement. Quarter of the waist measurement is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10 plus one inch for is 11 inches month 11 here now go over to the hip line on the hip line i'm going to be placing quarter of the hip measurement the hip i'm working with is 44 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches 11 plus 1 will give us 12 inches so this is the 12 inches here then i'll move it up a little bit to the full length. Full length is 43. So whatever I have on this hip line, I have here including the 
is allowance i have here 12 inches that is what i'm going to be placing on the full length of the kimono dress this is 12 inches but i'll just add one inch of ease to make it to be free making it 13 inches so here this is the 13 inches then i'll just come up a bit here by two inches so this is the two inches here so the next thing is to connect the lines together just make it a little bit curvy at this end so i'm using this remaining part of the fabric for the hemming so i'll go back to the arm o like I said before, the sleeve length we are working with is 15 inches. So on this chest line, which is the armhole line, this is the 15 inches here. I'll just come in by one inch. Then I'll slant it. I'll draw a slanted line. So after doing that, on this bust line, I'll just measure down one and a half inches. Then from here, I'll just use my french curve to curve it slight curve hope you can see that clearly so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to cut it out out the back first now don't forget to add your sewing allowance i'm going to be adding one inch and also don't forget to add half inch up here for your shoulder seam I'll cut it out now so I'm going to open this out and trim off back neckline leaving only the front neckline so I'll open up this the button stand that I'm going to open it up. Fold in here. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. I added interfacing to the right hand side of the front panel because of the button O. Next thing I'm going to be doing is to place the right side of the front panel to the wrong side of the back panel like so i go and join it on the shoulder i'll be sewing it on half of an inch from this end down to this end i'll do the same thing on both sides of the sleeves i finish attaching the two shoulders this is what I have. To see how I made this collar, please check the description box below. So click on the link. After attaching the collar, is to open up the button hole. So you're going to be marking three inches apart. So here, starting from here, mark here. You just take it to your machine to open up the button holes. The next thing I will be doing is to bring the right side and the wrong side together. Then sew it all the way down to this end. So just take it to your sewing machine. If you want to give it a slit, you can just come up here by five to six inches, depend on how long you want the slits to be. Then you stop sewing it from there. And hem the dress and bring it for you to take a final look from it. Decided to give it a slit and a down part. And also I attach a button to it. So guys, this is the final outlook of the kimono shirt dress we just made. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to give this give us a thumbs up and also share with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
Thank you so much for watching. See you again on my next video. Bye.